friends today what we are going to do is today we are going to draw a sailboat so let's see the supplies that we need we need half a paper we need crayons we need markers and i have um, something to trace a circle with so if you put this on the paper the paper is in the portrait style there should be at least one finger space on either side of the circle that's how big it should be i have a bigger one to practice draw on the whiteboard so you need a scrap paper also a white or a whiteboard to practice draw on so let's get into the lesson so first thing that we're going to do is we're going to decide how we are going to place the paper the paper is going to be placed in the landscape style sideways like this <clears throat> sideways okay and then we are going to um, take our circle I'm using a bigger circle because this is a bigger board and then what you're going to do is you're going to decide how where you're going to uh, put your board so if your board is you can have your board on the left on the right side or just in the middle it's up to you where you want it okay maybe i will put it a um, little bit to the uh, left okay and i'm going to um, make half a circle now i'm not tracing the whole circle just half a circle can you see i'm just traced half a circle then the next thing that we need to do is we need to connect this and this okay then we need to draw the sail, right? So uh, for the sail, we, uh, what shape are we going to draw the sail? Um, we will draw a triangle. So you guys know how to draw a triangle, right? So this particular triangle, um, it's going to be like this shape triangle. Triangles have three sides and this is how the shape that we triangles can come this way also right it can be this way also but the, this triangle that we're going to put on this one is going to be this way so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a um so right in the middle of this <clears throat> can you see i'm going to make a line this is going to be the mast okay and then from here i'm going to make a line coming this way or maybe let's do it this way uh, after you draw this line i'm going to draw a line like this okay a horizontal line crossing this and i'm going to leave a little bit of space on either side now i'm going to connect this to this and this to this so we have a triangle okay um now it looks like a sailboat right so next what we need to do is i'm going to add some windows to this one if you have a, something to draw a smaller circle with you can use that to draw this i can't find anything to make a smaller circle so i'm just going to make some circles with the just freehand circles okay after i'm done with this the next thing oh we are going to put on a boat is uh, we are going to make it we need the boat is in the water right so i'm going to make some lines like that okay the next um if you want you can add um, a sun the corner so like that the corner so what I did was like this and then the rays. Maybe you can have some. Um, yeah, this is enough for today. So you guys learned how to make the sailboat and the water and the sun, right? So if you think you are ready to draw this sailboat on the paper, let's do that. So I'm going to take my paper. I'm going to take the smaller one to make the board and I'm going to put this on the same side where I practiced through this and what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to leave um, like a two finger space on the bottom, okay? And a little bit space on this side. And then I'm going to draw half a circle. Okay, now let's connect this with this. Got that. Now, the next thing is, if you want a ruler for this, you can use a ruler. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you use a ruler or not. Okay, I'm going to draw a line from the top of the paper from here to the middle. It doesn't have to be exact middle, but it's fine. Now, I'm going to draw... I'm going to leave like one finger space on either side. I'm going to draw a line like that. Now I'm going to connect this to this and from here to here. Now let's make some circles on for the windows. Um, Maybe I should have made a little bigger ones. So three windows. Okay. Now um, let's add the sun. The race is there. Let's add the water. So water when you're drawing. When you reach the ship or the boat, you're going to jump over to the other side and then continue with a squiggly line. I'm going to make some squiggly lines. Okay, so your water is also done. Now, let's take the black marker from your marker box. I'm going to take my Sharpie and then I'm going to outline all the lines that we made. Okay, so... The water line, I'm not going to color. The, let's uh, outline the boat. Let me outline the sun. Okay. I'll be adding some more rays to this with um yellow. <clears throat> Should have done that with yellow instead. Okay, I'm going to take my markers and crayons, other colors. I'm going to take blue to outline the water or you can even use green Maybe it's, it doesn't matter whether you use blue or green okay now I'm going to start coloring my boat and the sail so what color should I color the sail maybe i'm going to make it make a pattern let me see hmm. blue i have blue and green and then i need yellow for this this part i'm going to put brown so i'm going to make some uh, what about a type of lines you want you can put it on the so i'm just making some lines so if you want spiky lines or um, you can do that if you want wavy lines put wavy lines okay that's how i'm going to do this and then I need to color the boat. Again, the boat, you can color whatever color you want. Maybe I'll color this a red boat. That would look nice and interesting. 
There's my red color. Am I missing my red? No. So I'm going to cut, go around this first. I'm going to make a fence. Now I'm going to color this. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm coloring little by little. I'm not coloring the whole thing at a time. I'm coloring sections. Now I'll color this part and then come down. Now this part and I'll come down. Let me fill in all this white spots. Okay. I'm going to color the sun now. I'm going to take my orange. with orange and I'm going to take my yellow you don't have to do this way you can uh, if you like to make it another way you can do it that way okay okay so the Sun looks nice and bright now this windows maybe I will color them blue I'm going to put these away now. The marker cap needs to be put back properly, otherwise it will fall off. So, did you hear the snap? Yeah. I think we are good. <laughs> and I'm going to put this away. I'm going to take my crayon to color the sail and the sky and sail I'm going to this one I'm going to color blue green maybe I should have used a light green the lines are not showing that much I thought this would be lighter that's okay um, I'll use blue for here. Try to stay within the lines. Okay. Now we need to color the sea. So I'm going to color the sea with this. Um, what color is this? Blue green. Okay. So. See that you're not coloring on the board, only the water. I'm not going above this line, okay? I'm coloring below the line that I made for the water. Now I'm going to take my blue and I'm going to color the sky. Or if you want the sky to be like a light pink color, like the sun is setting, you can do that. If you want to uh, make the sky like um, <clears throat> purp light purplish, uh, you can do that. I'm just putting blue, okay? I'm putting my crayon because it's a small piece on the side and then coloring. Otherwise, you would hold your crayon like this and then color. It doesn't matter how you're coloring. Only thing that matters is how you color it, like uh, how it looks in the end. And so 
so with that we are done with our sailboat okay hope you guys liked uh, making the sailboat with me and hope you guys had fun doing this with me i hope uh, you i'm i would like to see how this turned out so do um take a picture of this and ask your mom or dad to email me your finished work with your name room number and your <coughs> uh, school name so that i can um, see how it turned out so till we meet next time bye bye